Aw, isn't that so cute? Are you sleeping next to my new project? You love me. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I haven't filmed in a couple of days because, to be honest, it's been just really hard and <laughs> I've been having a lot of anxiety and I don't even think I could hold a camera still. But the last couple of days I've been really focusing on the present and living in the present as I believe everyone should do. And today is Wednesday. I am beginning, yesterday was really the beginning of most of the stuff that happened. So occupational therapists came in, they're gonna bring in a bunch of uh, equipment for me for after the surgery because I won't be able to do a lot of stuff on my own, like showering or getting up out of bed or putting socks on or you know reaching for things on the floor. So that was determined yesterday. Today I'm going for blood work and x-rays and Spencer's going to meet me there. And then tomorrow I am having Medichair come in and put in all that equipment and then Friday we are off to St. John Regional for the surgery. So super, super nervous. Um, I've never had surgery before and I haven't exactly been treating my body that well over the last summer. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But now I gotta catch the bus and I'm off to meet Spencer at the hospital because I really hate getting blood work taken because I'm so scared of needles. But today I am uh, sporting my new Fiber Lash Mascara from Unique. I think it's great. Uh, today I just did my X-rated Smashbox on my actual lashes and let it dry and then put the fibers on the ends of my lashes and I think they look superb. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> So I will see you either at the hospital, you know how it is in New Brunswick with YouTubers that people don't like when you videotape in public. I actually had, I have this shot of the dinosaur from Home Depot and only a couple of seconds of it. I'll put it right here. That's kind of impressive. It's like $400. And only a couple of seconds of it because the guy from like the customer service desk come over and is like, can I help you? And I'm like, no, I'm just looking at all your cool stuff. Like, sorry. Well. I got five vials of blood taken out of me today. Look at that. <laughs> so now the rest of the day is mine. I had x-rays, I had blood taken, and then tomorrow when my chair is coming, I'm gonna look like a granny in my house, so that's okay. Well, how does Spencer put up with it? I don't understand. So I'm leaving the hospital now, the rest of the day is mine. Let's go see what we can do today. All right, I'm home now, and I'm bored. I think I'm just gonna feel that way for the next couple of weeks. I've got the, I guess, the We Care Home, so their home care services that are coming in a couple of times a week next week to clean up the place a little bit, and make some meals, and do some groceries, because I won't be able to do anything. Anything. My personal trainer boyfriend knows what's up. Put a rolled up towel behind my back. <laughs> Instead of a pillow, because my back hurts. It's about time to start doing the surgery because my lower back is taking all the weight from my upper back. It's not that fun. <coughs> so, two days out. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Tomorrow. Hello, it's Thursday and I am going for surgery tomorrow. Vlogging has been hard because I do always put on a good face, but I am absolutely terrified. <laughs> I have to take like a million showers and not wear makeup to the surgery so it usually takes like a day and a half for me to get all my mascara out and stuff but because I've been using the fiber lash it washes off with water so my eyelashes look pretty good and I look pretty clean and I just can't really put any like scented products on or anything like that. So today is the day before I go to St. John and get my surgery <laughs> and I'm really really nervous. <laughs> So they came today and they put in a bed railing and a shower chair and everything else was unattached basically. Oh well the removable shower head as well which I took a shower and it was kind of annoying. So the next two showers that I take will be standing up and I will have to deal with the coil in the back of me on the shower head. But so this is the railing that I have so just to kind of help me get up out of bed so that's good because I won't be able to use my c-spine at all after the surgery for a few days and there's my cat he follows me everywhere because he's a good boy and I have this chair now which like I said I took out 
because I didn't really need it right now. I used it to shave my legs though, so that was good. And then I have a removable shower head and the other things are downstairs. This to me is the funniest one. This is <laughs> a sock aid. So it will help me put my socks on because it will be cold and I won't be able to do it. And this is a reacher so I can reach things. The claw. And then I have a back washer. So all the things that I need to be disabled for a couple of weeks, I guess. It's so weird. I don't want to. You know when you're walking up the stairs to a really big water slide when you're a kid and you're like getting like three quarters of the way up there and there's such a crowd that you're like, okay, I feel like I changed my mind and I don't want to go in this water slide. But there's so many people behind you that are like pushing you to the next step and the next step and the next step that you know when you get to the top of this water slide you're gonna have to go down it <laughs> and that's how I felt instead of climbing a staircase it's been like a week and a half so just imagine that just imagine <laughs> what that feels like as a sustained feeling for a week and a half just think about it okay I am still not doing great <laughs> but I'm getting ready to go tomorrow because we have to leave fairly early and if I don't have coffee I am not going to be happy. So I have to get everything done tonight. Um, I've cleaned my craft room up a bit because I don't really see myself going up and down the stairs a lot while I'm in actually injured. I'm going to get Spencer to probably bring up my coffee and maybe some snacks or whatever and then I'm going to sit in my craft room so that I don't have to go up and down the stairs for the first couple of days because apparently it's going to be quite painful. So what I'm doing right now, ooh look, <clears throat> you can see my face even better. Yay! I'm just packing up some stuff. I heard that when you get general anesthetic, your feet get really, really cold. So I have, so I have some warm socks, a couple of different pairs, and I have some monkey socks, and I have some regular socks, and some extra underwear, and I have just pajamas and really loose tops to wear. And I'm gonna put some of my button downs uh, in here as well because I might even end up just wearing my button downs. And I've got. Um, my new sock putter on her and also um, all everything I need except for makeup really if I don't get to upload the actual uh, surgery vlog on Saturday then it will be uploaded on Sunday and I'm really sorry about that but I'm going to actually edit this tonight and put it up uh, scheduled for tomorrow and then you guys will know what's going on we have to be at st. John Regional Hospital I 10 15 in the morning to register so that means I'm going to be getting ready um, and, then, and then at 12 o'clock I will be going in for surgery so there is an hour and 45 minutes of registry and prep time before the surgery and then I will be going in so Spencer's going to try to videotape as much as he can and of course when I wake up I will not be in any mood to edit tomorrow night because I will probably be having a hard time moving. I don't know if anybody's ever seen surgery videos, which I wish I never have before because I'm really interested in them and I never thought I'd have surgery. But um, if anybody's watched any of those surgery videos, they get in there and get pretty rough. So you can be really, really sore afterwards. And I'm just like, uh, that's like the biggest thing that I'm worried about. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> I've been freaking out basically for like three days, so what am I talking about? I've been freaking out since I've been injured. <laughs> Might not be a lot of Spencer in this vlog because he actually works a lot lately, which is great for us because I'm not working. I did ask him if he could order me Chinese food because I obviously, as a millennial, have anxiety about calling people. So yeah, I asked them to give me Chinese food and I'm waiting for that and that's my last meal before the surgery. I have a candy bar to eat as well. I've really been working on the outside of that blanket so I can get it in the wash and get it softened up before I come back and then I'll have my Lily Pond blanket to hang out with, yay, while I'm in recovery upstairs. <sighs> I'm so nervous, but everybody's been really great. Thank you guys so much for all your support and love. Thank you. All right, guys. I got my blanket done. I have my last meal. Waiting for Spencer to get home. 
and I'm gonna have this scheduled to upload tomorrow so by the time you guys are watching this I'm probably gonna be just waking up from surgery so thoughts and prayers thoughts and prayers yeah if I don't wake up Spencer you can have everything <laughs> anyway I'm gonna say goodnight and says bat and we will see you tomorrow toodles <laughs>